Hello everyone, in this session we will discuss some of the benefits of using blockchain technology. So the first benefit, we have is no need for third-party intermediaries. The advancement of the digital world today, has made banking an easy process for customer. Sending transactions online, has never been so straightforward. But if you peek behind the scenes to complete any transaction, a number of intermediaries are still involved as trusted and reliable third parties. These can be credit card companies or the SWIFT network as an intermediary international payments. The involvement of these external third parties results in an extra cost of the payee and payer. It is human nature not to trust strangers or even our friends. So it is a major point a blockchain is adhering to. It is removing the need to trust third-party intermediaries. The cryptographic algorithms used in blockchains eliminate the need to trust any party. For example, you have referees in a soccer game or you have banks who helping you to make online transactions and e-banking or internet banking. Third parties helping maintaining trust, but there is always a possibility that they can tamper with the data. This is the main issue the blockchain is trying to solve. In a blockchain, transactions are verified by nodes distributed globally in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Anyone can join or leave this network without disrupting the network's ability to form consensus on the state of the blockchain. It is unlike a central server in which a single computer is used to manage transactions. Instead distributed computation from anywhere in the world can be leveraged. Bitcoin and Ethereum are excellent examples of blockchains which are used to communicate value globally, without any trust in any party without any middleman. Second, we have greater transparency. The lack of transparency is one of the big issues with the current industry processes for the participants. But the centralization of the system is the prime barrier in any effort by the companies to make their process 100% transparent. An organization cannot for a transparent model using decentralized architecture provided by employing blockchain, where there is no dependency on centralized authorities. This is bound to improve the transparency of the system. Using blockchains to record transactions, they can go transparent. As blockchain is a distributed ledger, all network participants have the same view of the transactions instead of either essentially control system or different individual copies. That shared version of the blockchain is updated only after a consensus from the network where most participants agree on it. Nodes in a blockchain network carry out transactions and validate them. Nodes are free to choose to participate in the consensus process. Consensus process is used by participants in order to agree on a consistent copy of blockchain and absence of a centralized entity overseeing the records. As the transactions get verified and validated, they are included in the local copy of transaction records by each node. In order to alter it already included transaction record, it would require the alteration of all subsequent records added after inclusion of the majority of the network. Thus data on the blockchain is immutable. Consistent throughout the network and transparent. Users with the right permissions can access or use this data. Immutability and transparency go hand in hand in case of blockchain. Immutability means an ability to change data over time. In the context of blockchain, it refers to the fact that nobody can alter the data in the blockchain. So as a provider of data to any system, you can prove that the data hasn't been tampered with on the blockchain and as a recipient of the data, you have the ability to verify it. This benefit is not available when using a traditional database, where only the system administrator manages the data. So you need to trust that the system administrator is not going to change the data and if you were a big organization with a lot of data covering up different spaces, that might cause issues. For example, in an organization using the traditional database system to store and manage the data, a user with higher data privileges could alter the data which might have serious implications and is a security concern. Whereas if the organization uses the blockchain system instead, there is no possibility of altering the data once it is stored on the blockchain, making it permanent. You cannot delete or undo it. It is going to be present there for the time the public blockchains are running. Next we have high availability. Blockchain is a decentralized system of peer-to-peer -peer network. It is considered to be highly available as the participating node are distributed across the globe not decentralized. If you have a company or if you are running a website, then you will have a centralized database. You can also have redundant databases running behind that. In this scenario, if somehow your database or your system goes down then you have to make sure of the availability of the website. But with a blockchain as the network is distributed, even if one peer gets down the others are still running and making data available, therefore, nobody can take down the blockchain. One of the major attacks that happen on traditional databases or even on the cloud database is DDoS attack that is denial of service attack. In this attack, the hacker or the person who is trying to change the data of your product, tries to make several different requests to your server. They try to make 1 million or 1 billion requests in one second and your server or database is not able to handle that, and it goes down. So such attacks have been prevented on the blockchain. 
It's kind of a peer-to-peer network. Supposed 500 people are connected to each other so even if 5 or 10 go down then the rest of 490 people are still out there. So the block keep on running. Then we have high security. Blockchain is highly secure due to it being built using highly sophisticated, tested and secure cryptography. As we have seen, in blockchain you only need to trust cryptographic algorithm. The ECC algorithm or the SHA algorithm are ripe of 160 algorithm. Those are like publicly defined algorithms and used for most cases where encrypted communication is required. So in the case of blockchain, to ensure security of data in the process, you need to put some trust in his cryptographic algorithms. All the transactions of blockchain are cryptographically secure. All the transactions getting confirmed on the blockchain have another cryptographic algorithm running on them and also each block is connected to each other. So if one transaction is coming and one transaction is connected with the other transactions, it becomes difficult for the person who is trying to tamper the data, because now all the transactions are connected. The person who is trying to temper the data, needs to change all those transactions. For instance, the person is trying to change transaction number 3, so the person also has to change transaction 2 and 4, because they are linked with each other. New transactions have certain messages related to the previous transactions coming there. As we have discussed before, the blockchain is like a bank account and every person who is on the network will have their account. An account is nothing but their private keys and the public keys. So the private keys are used for sending the transactions, and the public use of the addresses where you receive the data or receive your cryptocurrencies. It's like your digital signature over the network. You don't need to trust the other parties to provide anything. When you connect to any Bitcoin or Ethereum network, then the cryptographic algorithm is running behind will provide you with private and the public keys for that network. Next is faster dealing and cost savings. In case of overseas transfers, the traditional process takes around 3,4 days to initiate a settle the transaction between end parties. The advent of blockchain has streamlined and increased the speed up the process. Greatly reducing its time to nearly minutes or even seconds. The traditional process of trading things is paper intensive which is prone to human errors and often requires third party mediation. Using blockchain-based systems can streamline and automate the process without an advantage of an efficient process and faster transactions. As a single digital ledger is shared among all participants for record keeping. There is no need of reconciling multiple ledgers. Resulting in less clutter. And when everyone agrees to the same information, the trust can be ensured and is built naturally. This removes the need for several intermediaries which were earlier required for mediation between involved parties. So without many steps and intermediaries involved, Transaction clearing and settlements can occur quickly. For example, when you store your data on cloud, you need to trust the cloud service providers like AWS and Google Drive which can edit your data and that's going to have major implications. But if you go with blockchain, your data is stored and distributed on a peer-to-peer network, where you don't need to involve and trust any third party. Blockchain to especially play a vital role in providing quicker settlements of trades. Normally transactions by internet banking or e-banking might take up to an hour or two. But with a blockchain as soon as you make the transaction to miners confirm the transactions and your transaction is applied and the other person receives your currency. With no need to third parties and intermediaries, there goes this overhead cost in exchanging the assets. So blockchain reduces the transaction fees. For example, let's assume that the blockchain on which we are working is records keeper. So transaction fees for that is 4 cents per kilobyte and if you compare it with a cloud computing your storage of data is not a definite. Do you need to provide monthly money to the cloud computing network to store your data and if you are not providing the money to store your data that they might delete your data and you have to deal with that. But with a blockchain once the data is over the network is going to be there for an indefinite time. And last is the improved traceability. Traceability is the ability to follow where a product comes from and its status throughout the entire transaction chain. The requirements for traceability vary depending on the type of merchandise. Each time an exchange of goods is recorded on blockchain, an audit trail for the asset is stored and visible which reflects its origin and journey throughout the process. The historical trail of the asset helps to prevent fraud and improve security and exchange-related businesses. This also helps verify the authenticity of the asset. In industries such as food or medicine, where transparency is an added benefit to ensure quality of the product, blockchain can be used to track supply chain that is from end to end. That is form the manufacturer to the distributor. This makes the process and the supply chain more transparent. So using blockchain allows concerned parties to trace the journey of goods in the supply chain process and to ensure that it is not being replaced or misused anywhere. Organizations which require the ability of traceability to provide authenticity in their products and services can implement blockchain-based solution. That was all for this session. Thank you.